Now to the Memorial Day travel exodus kicking off this midday. The FAA says today will be the busiest day for flying over the extended holiday weekend with more than 50,000 flights. Overall, nearly 3.4 million people. Well, they're expected to fly over the holiday. ABC's Gio Benitez has the latest from DFW Airport. This morning, the travel rush for Memorial Day weekend now officially underway. A lot of traffic coming in, so I'm glad we're here early. With 42 million Americans expected to travel for the holiday, 3.4 million of them flying, airports and passengers are bracing for it all. This as officials warn that incidents like these are on the rise at some airports, unruly travelers causing chaos. This incident Monday at Chicago's O'Hare, one of the busiest airports in America. Two people were arrested at baggage claim. And in Atlanta last Friday, police say a man now charged with assault randomly punched another passenger on an air train. Relax, 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 relax. We have seen an increase in these type of behavior in Atlanta airport and across the industry. The world's busiest airport now requesting more funding for security. And after so many staffing and weather issues across the airline industry, the big question now, are airlines ready for the first big test before the summer? American Airlines taking us behind the scenes at the Hub Control Center here in Dallas. Are you fully staffed now? You have more people than last year? Oh yes, we have a lot more people than last year. We learned a lot over the pandemic. And American Airlines tells us that it is fully ready for this holiday weekend. All of the airlines tell us the same thing. And so far, it's looking pretty good. If you look at cancellations or delays across the country, very, very few of them right now. So just keep your fingers crossed. Get to the airport early just in case because they will be crowded. Gio Benitez, ABC News at Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport.